Yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, so um, we are happy to be uh, with you guys uh, watching us online for the ty type talk of the summer number three. And we have tonight um, a very good uh, people uh, doing presentation talk, but Mathieu will handle the session, so welcome Mathieu, and I give you the microphone. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for uh, being here, here and here uh, online. Uh, so type is about a little bit more than black and white shapes. Um, sometimes it's about language, opinions, and ideas. And so I'm, I'm very looking forward to Olivier, Alexiano, and, and Thibaut Kézard's presentation tonight. I have a feeling they have a few things to say about type language opinions and uh, idea and well uh, how the the role design has to play within society so olivier is a graphic designer and an art director he graduated from ecole nationale des arts déco in 2015 he then continued his study in a somewhat unusual way for uh, someone with a graphic design background as he completed another master's degree at sciences po that is the Paris Institute of Political Studies. And he then later uh, joined En Marche in the early days. Uh, so for you who aren't familiar with the recent French history, uh, En Marche is the new political movement uh, that was created by uh, Emmanuel Macron. Um, and there he took care of the art direction and the presidential uh, campaign. So Thibaut is uh, also a graphic designer and a creative director. Uh, among other things, he developed the New York office and set it up uh, for the French design agency Bipol. Uh, he's been, after that, an independent art director. And he was also, for two years, I think, uh, the art director for everything digital at the city of Paris. Uh, he took over the creative direction of En Marche in December 2016. And, uh, well, one thing uh, leading to another, uh, together with Olivier, there are no part of the, there are no the art and creative directors for the Présidence de la République Française, that is the French Presidency Office. So uh, I think we're very lucky to have them here tonight. Uh, please join me in welcoming Olivier Alexianon and Thibaut Cazergue. Hello everyone, um, so just a few words um, to start, seven months ago um, Olivier and I didn't know each other, um, we never worked with each other, um, tonight we are a duo on stage um, because something happened uh, at the end of last year and something um, which is quite an adventure uh, and brings us here tonight um, with yeah uh, a lot on our mind because we yeah we didn't really stop for the for the last month so we're just gonna go back a little bit in uh, our um, history and so Olivier will tell you a bit more about how he started hello um, two things before I start. I'm sorry for my English. And um, we will uh, start this presentation with some work we did uh, before we know each other. So things we're going to be fine, I think. And then in the second part, we are going, going to talk about politics. So perhaps think we'll be things will be more like... Oh, oh. I know. Um, I want to start this presentation with not showing my work. Okay. Hello. You can use the hashtag online. And so there is some work I like, um, some artwork. Uh, I want to share this with you uh, before I start my presentation. 
So there are some things I am um, really interested in, color, shape, and type design, uh, and almost uh, word and messages. So you have things like Barbara Kruger, or uh, Sterling Ruby, or Ed Roche, uh, Ellsworth Kelly, or something like that. So when I studied in uh, Les Arts Deco, uh, I, I was really interested in colors. So I do some silk screen printing. And I don't know if some of you uh, are familiar with silk screen. When you have a you have a macule to test the color and the ink, and I was really interesting with uh, the rest of the the color b uh, after you do some silk screen. So this is just the macule and uh, some um, I don't know how to say degradé uh, in English gradient. gradient. Some things like this just the mix of color and how it works. It's really interesting me. And it's some books I, um, who always uh, been with me since I'm a kid and nowadays, but less these days because I, I've got less time for doing some uh, drawing. So it's uh, just um, colors and gradient and how, how it mixed together when you have uh, two images between. Then in uh, the third years I met a really good friend of mine, Thomas, and we worked together. So um, I want to show you a uh, work we did for um, Le Centre Pompidou. Uh, it's, it was a um, a conference we we did in uh, Les Arts Deco with uh, Jean Vidmer, and uh, because in 2015, I think, or in 14, the Centre Georges Pompidou uh, by the font uh, Adrien Frutiger made for uh, for this uh, uh, institute. So it's the first time in history that uh, a font became um, an art collection, part of an art collection. So um, with uh, Laurent Ungerer at the time, uh, we, uh, he showed us the typography, the CGP typo uh, typography. And uh, it was really, um, it was a le tracet because it was quite old. And uh, because of the beauty of this le tracet, we just decided to just uh, show them without any other stuff for the invitation um, so it was uh, at uh, Les Arts Deco at the time. Uh, some other stuff I made with Thomas. It's some uh, engraving. It's a monotype. Um, as you can see, I'm uh, and we are uh, always interested in uh, shape of letter, just simple letter and simple color. So it's a uh, big stuff. You can see, but uh, I think it's a uh, one one presentation. Um, it's just uh, no so we, we put some ink and we we on uh, rayé <laughs> quoi the screen to to see some letters. And we, we did some some world like postapolis because uh, nowadays Everybody use uh, Apple to create, but then um, Andy Warhol. The 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 um, the best question uh, of Andy Warhol he like to to ask uh, is uh, so what? So we use uh, Apple, but so what? And after, it's perhaps post Apple's other letter, just letters in black and white, and and like. Just le le trait, le trait, just straw, the line, just the line, just to see how it works. It's a um, it's a mise en scène <laughs> to show you some stuff, and it's your turn. 
Um, so, uh, after graduating from school, um, I started working uh, for a Parisian agency called Beeple, uh, and I spent few. Uh, I spent two years uh, settling down the um, studio in New York. Um, in fact, I I spend most of my time um, looking for clients, and um, and. Uh, taking care of uh, French clients uh, in New York, um, so I I don't really show works from this um, time, and uh, I'm in fact when I came back to France, I started working um, uh, as an independent independent graphic designer. Uh, most of my projects uh, were connected to art. Um, as I was working along with an uh, art curator, uh, Timothée Chaillou. Uh, for example, um, you have uh, a ca an exhibition catalogue uh, at the top in grey. Um, and so it, it was really a, a shift in, uh, in the way I was doing uh, design. Uh, for example, we um, produced uh, an art uh, review called Annual. Uh, it was uh, special because uh, it was published uh, only once a year and uh, we were invited to take care of uh, the fifth issue. And um, we decided to invite five uh, different artists to produce five um, covers. So it, there were carte blanche and they could do uh, uh, whatever they wanted, and um, I, I quite enjoyed the fact of um, uh, that my work wouldn't appear on the cover. Uh, it it's it's something like um, we invited uh, uh, more than uh, 80 artists. Uh, to contribute to the review, and every day we would receive uh, their works. And um, the idea of the design uh, of the review was really to make it look like an old book uh, that you just uh, open and focus really on the works of the artists. So it was all composed in a with a Winchester, and. Um, and um, keeping it really as uh, simple uh, as possible. Um, in uh, 2014, I was um, asked by the city of Paris to create um, a visual identity for the budget participatif, which is an initiative by the mayor of Paris uh, to make Parisians more active in the choice of the city. So this is one example of the um, posters we produced uh, during the um, campaign to incite people to, to come vote for projects. And so I invited um, an illustrator to uh, contribute to the, to the design. In um, 2015, I joined the team at the city of Paris uh, in the digital communication. And um, one of my f really first projects was to um, uh, communicate around the launch of the new website uh, Paris.fr, which was uh, in fact developed and designed by uh, people uh, in this house, uh, Spin Tank. And so uh, I only um, um, came in the um, communication around the launch. And so there were. Um, six different posters all around Paris uh, asking questions, like the most frequent questions uh, people were uh, sending us on via emails at the city of Paris, and only um, presenting them with, uh, with font and, and simple color. For example, how many bridges are in Paris? How can I benefit from um, money to buy my uh, electrical bike. Uh, another project uh, I worked on was the, um, and in fact I'm showing more uh, 
print stuff than digital um, of my uh, of my work uh, at the city of Paris. This is a campaign uh, I did for uh, the um, Paris Fashion Week, and so it was also um, a carte blanche uh, for um, a Parisian, a French young uh, fashion photographer. And so each season we would ask a different photographer to uh, give his image of uh, Paris Fashion Week. And so I, um, I did the design for this kind of um, uh, layout around, uh, around the image. And so uh, all the different uh, posters were keeping the same font and only changing the image every season. Um, so in 2016, last year, I uh, decided to get involved in a new political movement. So it was kind of, um, uh, to me it was uh, something I, uh, I was kind of hoping for, for a while. Um, the city of Paris was kind of a first step to uh, design for uh, the city and uh, people living around me um, and helping the city to uh, uh, give um, a better image and uh, uh, producing better uh, design services. Um, so in, in December, um, I joined the team and met Olivier. Hi. <laughs> Um, in fact, it was kind of a um, uh, super uh, fast process because uh, we met on uh, November 17, uh, which was the day after Emmanuel Macron declared himself candidate for uh, the president's election. Um, and we got along quite immediately <laughs> uh, because, in fact, the campaign doesn't allow you to waste a lot of time. You have to rush to do so much. And, um, and I think it w one key uh, point was that we, uh, we shared a common uh, uh, graphical and artistic reference, and it really helped us to, uh, to work uh, with each other. When when we arrived, uh, like no, when I arrived, because uh, Olivier was uh, already working for the movement a few months before, uh, there was um, a branding that you can see on the on the label, the handwritten uh, uh, logo. And so, really, uh, the um, just to say a few words about about the this branding, um, it existed uh, since the launch of the movement. So. Uh, in April, uh, when when uh, when Emmanuel Macron uh, started the movement, there was this branding, and it was uh, produced by uh, an agency called Jesus et Gabriel. And I, I think it was really the idea of starting from sc something from scratch and uh, and like uh, opening a new book with, with without any design. And uh, so the handwritten font was. Uh, um, Emmanuel Macron's font and and it really uh, carried this idea of starting something new. Uh, when we met, it was uh, in December, and it was really uh, at a point where we would uh, take the campaign uh, to another level and start giving strength to the design. And so this is uh, at the end of the the rally of the 10th of December, and um, there was this uh, logo en marche uh, in these big uh, letters on the stage. Uh, so in, in Gilsan and um, uh, I think in bold italic. And it was the first time it was written in font and not in uh, by hand. And at the end of the rally, the um, volunteers, uh, the helpers, were uh, celebrating the end of the rally and they naturally came with the letters uh, the 
EM uh, and put them together and we did this photo and it was really a starting point of the branding that we developed for the campaign. Yes, because um, at the beginning of the movement uh, with the studio Jesus and Gabriel, they used this handwriting font and they didn't want to, to play with colors. It was quite uh, black and white stuff and a little boring perhaps. And but uh, nowadays with the um, the media and the um, social networks, you have to catch the eyes. Uh, I think it's quite the same on the internet than on uh, in the streets. You have to catch the eyes immediately because uh, everybody was surrounded by uh, your news feed or it's like in the streets and you see uh, all around you. So we st we started a new um a new colors it was the the colors we used and this uh, screen was um behind uh, Emmanuel Macron when he's talking and uh, when he said some words like revolution in the background you have this big screen with this font so um, the December meeting was a f foundation meeting of the launch, the real launch of the presidential campaign. So we made some stuff, just words and colors. And then we, uh, since December, we have to be quick because the the end of the campaign was in April and May. So we decided to to decline all the stuff, all the colors, uh, the logo you've seen, and to to make a, a guideline. One uh, special side of the project was to uh, enable the um, uh, people uh, uh, around France that started um, uh, local committees. Um, Basically, the movement is self-organized. Like the all around the, the country, people could use the website and and create their own committee, and uh, we helped them um, create the graphics. So it was really uh, um, a critical part of the project because it, most of you know, like most of you are graphic designer. You know how it is to like let uh, give away some uh, of your design and let people use it and transform it so um, it was it was kind of full of surprise like all around the campaign to see local committees using the the guideline but it was also super like really fun and uh, and um, and creative because we saw so many different uh, versions of the font use and uh, but so yeah, the we we provided guidelines for them to uh, to use and to uh, to do um, their own graphics. So our, our role really was to um, uh, create a cohesive uh, graphical environment for the campaign uh, and create every day new um, new elements. And uh, some of them were during the rallies. We uh, we had to create uh, special uh, uh, stuff for for people to uh, to uh, play with. Um, also, we worked w with um, along with the team at the, um, the team of the that creates the rallies. So uh, Arnaud Jolins, who was the uh, in charge of the scenography, we uh, we worked with him to uh, to create uh, animated. Oh, oh merde. Nice. It's a video, but I think it didn't work. I don't know how to launch it. Okay, so it's an animated version of the logo uh, that goes uh, blue, white, and red, and it was um, animated in a big uh, on a big cube uh, before the um, the speech started. So we also created an environment design to uh, um, make the rally more. Uh, uh, cohesive also with our uh, graphical guideline. 
How about here you go? <laughs> so we, uh, what was um, really, I think, important in the campaign is that we uh, managed to create in-house a little creative studio. So the two of us and uh, Gael, who, who was um, a graphic designer, helping us with all the material we had to create uh, every day for the campaign. Uh, as well as Joey, who was animating uh, our visuals, and since we were doing a lot of uh, pedagogical, like um, explaining uh, what the candidate was proposing um, um, after a speech or during a speech, uh, giving like the bullet points of uh, uh, what he just said, uh, Joey would help us to like animate these visuals and and make more interesting. Uh, um, elements to share. So, basically, uh, um, less and less people read in uh, on their screen, uh, and politics stuff isn't sexy uh, when uh, it not uh, shaped really uh, in a quite good way. And um, so, uh, when you are in campaign, uh, every candidate are doing some uh, meetings and um, in in uh, the real life it's okay people are uh, clapping or uh, hailing but uh, you have uh, also to exist um, on the the digital um, life and you have so to catch um, catch people uh, eyes so we we decided to 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 make an an ecosystem of uh, what we decide by um, the font and the color, and just to to make some visual stuff because everything is visual on a screen because it's a screen. So we are doing some stuff with. Um, we are lucky because our candidate and now president is quite good looking. So when you you, because y you can say whatever you want um, about the using of the type or, and especially when you are professional, but uh, on the way people are are just liking because uh, you see Emmanuel Macron and that's it. So when you show him, you've got uh, bigger uh <laughs> bigger results than when you don't show him maybe you can talk about the live tweeting yes so when the candidate is uh, talking you are in meeting like me now but if i was emmanuel macron people are uh, um, on their computer listening what emmanuel macron says it was juliette who was in the audience misak and me so Juliette was in charge to uh, listen what the candidate is saying, catch the, the best uh, sentence, trying to make them short, to make them read by the internet. And uh, I tried when the, the quote was uh, okay to put them on the visual stuff. And every th uh, this uh, process was... Um, it's in a like two minutes process because if we are losing the listening, you are losing the what of the candidate said, and then you ca you can't do um, other stuff. So uh, it's like a um, workshop or performance. You have like a quote, two minutes before it gets online, and you have to produce a visual. So you have to be fast and sometimes good and quite often bad but that's the game if you want to exist <laughs> um here is uh, another version of uh, a logo we used during the campaign just so we kind of we we made the branding and the, the visual identity evolve all all along during the um, the 6 months um, but always keeping the Gilson uh, as our main font. And so it was really um, 
um, a progression like during the campaign. Uh, for example, you, you have the En Marche logo uh, when we, I think we, we launched it in February uh, with the bold italic font. Then we uh, had first posters with uh, Emmanuel Macron president and the dot at the end, so the one that you saw on the video. So this is in heavy uh, without italic. Um, and so we used it a lot on posters. And on the f last few weeks um, before the election, we uh, had this uh, new version of the guild, which is um, uh, medium uh, italic and only Macron president. So it was kind of a um, different steps in the, in the campaign to kind of also little by little simplify the, the, the branding. Uh, also, this visual was pretty simple because it was uh, we we either we put it on a on a white T-shirt or uh, on white uh, cards. Uh, so with the two colors, we had really some uh, uh, a nice result of like the the French um, flag colors. Um, one one uh, other thing is the. Um, an invitation that we uh, sent to few uh, uh, to four uh, French graphic designers. Um, we asked them to produce a sticker for the campaign. So it was kind of delicate because first we had to see if the graphic designer was okay with the candidate. So I would look on Facebook or Instagram if this graphic designer would like posts or to kind of see if we could contact him easily. Um, others uh, contacted us straight away, and it was a nice um, surprise. Um, so uh, here you have uh, Jean-Francois Porchet's uh, sticker at the <laughs> uh, top left, Cléo Charruet uh, in red, Elisa Valenzuela uh, with the collage, and Yorgo Tupias with the bottom right sticker. Uh, and we selected this medium of the sticker because it was, uh, we kind of tested before with our own visuals and it was really pleasant for the volunteers to uh, stick it a bit everywhere and um, we thought it was a good uh, way to, uh, to spread in a different way the branding of the campaign um, and completely leave the Gilson and uh, the usual palette of, the, of our designs, but most of them played with the um, blue, white, and red. But the big question is how to end a campaign. And we thought that we can end this campaign uh, like it starts with the end right rating of Emmanuel Macron. And uh, we we propose him to to write this sentence because uh, on the Friday at uh, midnight you can't post anything anywhere. It's the end of the uh, campaign. So uh, what uh, what can we do? So we decided to make him write. Now everything is in your hands. Emmanuel Macron, and it will. Um, we we thought that it will be a good uh, circle to start with En Marche and to finish with uh, Emmanuel Macron. Um, we are very lucky because our candidates uh, became president. Thank you, if perhaps some of these <laughs> audience <laughs> vote for him. No. Um, and we want to start uh, to finish with uh, another visual thing. A uh, few, few weeks um, before uh, tonight, uh, Donald Trump was um, declared that uh, he, uh, the USA was uh, withdrawal from the Paris Agreement. So Emmanuel Macron uh, has decided to, to do a, a speech. It was uh, in the evening. We are around uh, midnight also. 
And um, we don't even know before he, he said those words, make our planet great again, that he will say those words. So he finished. It was a live tweet like we did in yes. the campaign and we were doing simple visuals for the speech. Olivier was doing those visuals. And so at the end of the speech, he ends with this sentence. And, and, uh, and then we have, we have to be very quick because um, because uh, on the internet, the, the first you post is the first you share. So we have, it have to be um, quite good with the Mencken Pro of uh, Jean-Francois Porchez. And you have to be quick. So we decided to make a uh, gradient. Thank you for this word. Uh, green and blue because uh, it's the color of the, the earth and to just put those words and post it online and thanks to the Mencken it's uh, the, 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 sh the most retweet uh, French tweet ever to be continued. Thank you very much for the very thorough presentation. Uh, okay, I have, I have one question. Uh, I have the mic, so I decide who posed the question, and it's gonna be me. Um, uh, you're both uh, quite young and at the beginning of your career, uh, and it feels like you're already working on one of the biggest projects a, a designer uh, can have the opportunity to do. How, how does it feel to do something that big so early in your career? Um, it's really scary how you <laughs> present it. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we try not to think about it every day like we did for the last seven months. Um, we are pretty lucky, our boss is 39, so only a few years more than us. Um, so I think it helps um, to, to consider that, yeah, we, we, we have a huge opportunity to, to change things, to change an image of the, um, of the country uh, at our small level. And... Um, and yeah, it's a, it's a, a huge challenge. So um, I think w I personally try not to think too much about it. And for me, I think I don't realize because uh, we started in a small room and everything was, uh, was step by step, step by step. And so it, it's like natural. But uh, yeah, nowadays, because we are at the Elysee, sometimes uh, the, so the things was, um, on, ça nous, Oula. Um, voilà, ça nous fait tomber. <laughs> but it's okay. Microphone, question. Two minutes. Um, I'd like to know what was your relationship with Emma Emmanuel Macron? Were you close to him? Do you speak with him every day? And were you free to bring your ideas and your design ideas? Um, uh, yeah, we, uh, we, uh, we saw him uh, a lot for the past months. Um, but we, I wouldn't say we, would, we were close because he, he, he had a lot to do to arrive where he is now. And so uh, I think he was pretty um, trustful with us. And um, if I consider him as a client, he's been yeah, pretty um, open to our ideas and supporting and, 
And yeah, I, one of our key um, brief was to do different from all the other ones. So it was pretty awesome to work with this in these conditions, like to always be open to do something new, something different, something other uh, parties or politicians never did. Um, so yeah, I think it really helped us to uh, to propose him um, uh, graphics that he liked. Yeah. Uh, I think the font you didn't choose actually, which is Gil Sans, is perfectly fitting the spirit of Emmanuel Macron because it's at the same time, as he says, uh, en même temps, classic and modern, and it's very humanistic. And since you don't use so many capital letters, I'm, uh, I'm afraid I saw too many today again, but not so many, and um, I'd like to know how much you feel Emmanuel Macron's feeling and uh, view of uh, how typefaces and how graphic design reflects the personality of someone. C and uh, I was a bit disappointed you didn't give us some in insights of the campaign of your uh, contact with him. But when you talk about a choice of typeface, um, how does he react and how do you feel about this choice of the Gil Sands and this humanistic feeling the whole campaign conveys? It's a super complicated question. <laughs> um, I never talked so much about font with him. Um, but I... Um, What was interesting was to that we had to uh, respond to what he was saying on stage, for example, with fonts and sometimes with a choice of font, a different choice of font for different uh, quotes. Um, so we would adapt our choice of font. So we, you saw, we worked with Gilson with Grodzek, uh by Mario, who was uh, here a few few days ago. Uh, with the Menken, um, and we we try to give them the more sense to those choices every time. Um, but I never had this talk with him <laughs> on the choice of font. I, I get I guess again he had uh, other stuff to deal with and and yeah complicated um, issues to to deal with also. He kind of left us this uh, uh, reflection and uh, this thought about the, the choice. Uh, I have a question about this, the same topic, just small thing about the make your planet great again. You say it was done li live in very short amount of time. All this sentence appear or, or all you suddenly decide to do an image with it. You know, with a sentence, yes, the hashtag, the long hashtag. Because, he, he, yeah, it was on his, on his speech, he, sa he have said that, but does it was planned to, to do the hashtag when he was already doing his, his talk, or does, oh, it started? Um, no, and, and I think there's a big fantasma about, uh, a, f a fantasy about, how communication is always built. Uh, people usually think everything was so calculated while away, and we are yeah we we had everything prepared to like launch. But uh, we discovered the sentence like everybody else, like all of you, uh, because we didn't have the speech before he talked on the TV. So. Um, so you mean that actually when you live tweet image of his quote or something like that in general, you don't have the text? No. Uh, you are like anyone, <laughs> almost. Sometimes, like really few times in the campaign, we had the speech before. But it's usually 
uh, the element you uh, finish like really shortly before you um, pronounce it. So and sometimes he changes. Sometimes he doesn't read the speech and he says something that you have to catch. So um, no, the, the this sentence we we had no clue about it before, and uh, he said it, and we were like, okay, it's it's a really uh, um, strong message and uh, strong um, way to reply to what um, uh, President Trump just uh, declared. And so we thought it was uh, the visual to share and uh, Olivier designed it in a few minutes and, uh, and we posted it and... On nobody to check, Evan, to check the the image before. Nobody I mean, you, dis uh, I mean uh, you decide to, to send the tweet. Mm -hmm. Nobody bes bes uh, beside you, two guys. No, yeah, we, we, we work yeah. with someone pretty special next to the president, okay. um, with um, Ismail Emelian. And so he's close to uh, the writing of the speeches and everything. So we, uh, of course, we had this validation to send the visual. I'm, d I'm just curious what happened the day after. So once you won, uh, how was your job redefined? Uh, are you still working for him? Are you, do you have an official title? Yeah, we continued to work uh, for him. Like we, we were at in the campaign, but now we are at the presidency of the of the Republic. So, um, so we're paying you with our tax dollars. <laughs> uh, I think so. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> uh, no, no. W when we are at the company, we have En Marche and Emmanuel Macron, uh -huh. and we have to deal with the two images and two uh, uh, canoes. And now we have Elysee and Emmanuel Macron. So does that mean there's an official graphic design um, it's the first time function in the Elysee? Yes. Yeah. It's, it's the first time we have an art director and a creation director at the Elysee. Mm -hmm. Because we're, we've seen uh, at the campaign, he, he, he can't work uh, an agency. And because who call an agency at midnight? Hey, we, we have to, to make a visual with yeah. makeup. It doesn't fit with uh, digital. So we, uh, we have made an in-house agency. Yeah, and um, the people uh, from the campaign, um, for some of them, uh, um, um, change directions. Uh, for the, some are taking care of the movement, which is growing and becoming more than just a movement. Um, and so we also care about this, like, um, keeping strength and energy in the movement um, and make it grow and and also give it give it more sense and new sense uh, so we had to uh, Gael uh, our graphic designer is uh, still working there uh, and uh, working on new uh, images and, and visuals um, and we moved with uh, uh, some of the team to the Elysee and I think it's pretty important to keep uh, a part of the team that works well together to uh, change um, things, and it's true that when you are uh, when we arrive at the, um, the Elysee, um, uh, it, it's really a big challenge because you arrive in a world that w lives by himself for like so long, and for example, we discover logos like so many different versions of the same logo. <laughs> Um, and not like regular use of fonts, and so we um, we're pretty excited to kind of uh, guideline all those <laughs> elements and and propose new new designs. Hi, hey, how did you deal with the fact that uh, the Gilson it's almost a typographic flag of the UK? Uh, 
Um, I guess we, we, uh, we didn't choose the font. Uh, the the um, the design agency that started the branding used Gilson, and so we arrived. Each of us arrived after the first design uh, work, and um, and I don't know. I guess we. Um, it depends on the way you use it, um, and we we <laughs> we put it in a lot of. Um, French flag configuration, <laughs> no, but uh, we, I think we, we, with the use of, of the other font and this ecosystem, we, uh, we gave it maybe a more French uh, attitude. Um, during, during, the, d during the campaign, were, were you free volunteers or have you been paid for your work? Uh, Olivier started uh, as, an intern, as an intern, no, no as a volunteer uh, for a few months and then became uh, an intern and then was hired. Uh, I was hired b because he started a while before me. So I, I arrived in December and I was hired uh, straight away. But it was basically the um, life of uh, a movement that grows and at the beginning, there was not much money, so a lot of people came in the movement as volunteers. Um, the whole team, that the communication team, uh, uh, Juliette, who's there, and Misak, they all started volunteers, and now we uh, work at the Elysee. But so yeah, it was um, kind of um, a necessary uh, option for a movement that started from scratch. We were whole hired, yeah. And did you motivate any of your design decisions with political opinions, or was it all marketing? And uh, for example, another way to ask the question would be: if you had designed for Mélenchon or Marine Le Pen, would it have looked the same or not? No, definitely not. <laughs> um, and I wouldn't have done it if I was um, not, if I was not. Um, going along with the the political side uh and yeah i don't think i don't think if yeah i don't imagine myself designing for marine le pen and um so i don't know what i would do maybe all black it was i think it was easier at en marche because everything was to build and uh, it's not like uh oh yes les insoumis was quite new but when you uh, arrive at uh, Les Républicains or UMP or uh, at the PS, everything was already set and really, really set. So, um, but for for us, we have to to build what we want to build. One question here. Hi. Um, the graphic design profession is uh, really in, in difficulties today, and it's a great news to to know. I just I just uh, I just learned just now that um, graphic design is now in the castle. So, uh, <laughs> um, uh, two, que two questions. Uh, just you change. Uh, you were supporters, no? I think you did it for free in the campaign during the campaign. At the beginning, yes. Yeah, in the beginning, and then uh, I'm curious to to know what is your position in the castle. What is your title, your titles, and your salaries? The first, <laughs> and. <laughs> And uh, the second one is um, tomorrow. Uh, how w could you tomorrow uh, continue to work without without uh, work with uh, young designers, uh, which are w young type foundries and designers, which are uh, here in the assembly? Um, French products, I mean. Can you repeat the last one? Can you repeat the last one? The last. 
Okay. Can we work with designer who are yeah. here? Could tonight? you? Could you? No. Okay. How could you don't do it? You know. So yeah, w we have we have uh, um, uh, special p uh, we have positions at the uh, in at the Elysee. So Olivier is art director. It's written on his contract, and I'm creative director. It's also written on my contract. Um, I won't talk about our salary because you were laughing so much <laughs> while asking the question. But I'm sure <laughs> your salary is good news for a profession. Yeah, yeah well, I. I we're, we're <laughs> No, but we, it's um, it's a it's a it's a decent salary. We're not like uh, slaves. <laughs> and um, and last the yeah, w I I hope and and I think we will s uh, continue work with uh, foundries. Um, we just we are learning like right now how everything works because you have uh, marché public, so like uh, uh, you have procedures to uh, uh, be able to work with people like putting them in competition so there's a fair um, a level Sorry. behind them, uh, between them. And um, so, yeah, it's something uh, I hope we will have a font budget uh, to work with. Is because it's France presidency and you, uh, we can't do what we, well, what we want. So it takes uh, more time to make uh, things in place and it have to be uh, in commission and uh, agreed for a higher person to make things clear. So uh, it takes more time than in the campaign. It's a new challenge. Uh, more question? Yes? Yeah? Okay. No, no. It's a question about Gil Sang. It's not a question, a reflection. I was just wondering, you see, uh, Gil Sang was the British found. We see the Gil Sang everywhere in London or in Britain, in Great Britain. And now it's, it's, it's different. Gil Sang is not so uh, it's not free, not totally free as it was. It's something new. I was just wondering, uh, would it be uh, Emmanuel Macron uh, who would need a corporate font, a real, unique and corporate font, or uh, would it be the next one, just as a brand, as a corporate? Uh, have you think about that, about the responsibility? It was not you, the responsibility of the graphic designer who chose uh, Gil Sang, curious choice for, for this British uh, font and not a French font, for example. And, uh, and, and the next step, branding and uh, trying to, to, to find the short, sen sh short sentences uh, and that. And a question for Thomas, just a, just a little. Uh, uh, you you show at the the first images uh, a picture a serigraphic picture of John Giorno, who used the grading and you thanks to John you see <laughs> uh, you, you, thanks for nothing but yes so if you have uh, something to say about Gilson and the corporate uh, found for a future president maybe. You you want him to have uh, his own font, or you want him to pay the copyright for the Gilson? I didn't. <laughs> uh, but but w one interesting thing is that we, uh, since he became president, we didn't use Gilson anymore. Uh, you use Gilson oui. when on the desk. Uh, the name of the of the city or still Gilson. Yes. Uh, I heard <laughs> I uh, <laughs> said it was uh, new challenges because everything was yeah it's not it's not our fault <laughs> 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 no but we will we will change this also but um, no yeah, yeah. our uh, so guideline is not to use Gilson and to uh, leave the En Marche uh, using it yes, yes, yes. and to and we were at the moment uh, looking for the right font and the right mix of font uh, 
that we want to use for him. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much. Uh, it looks like the downside of winning an election is that you have to go back to work on the next Monday morning. So I hope you guys get to go on vacation uh, soon. Thank you for being here. <laughs>